our market analyst, Mokta Mohamed, joins me in the studio to talk more about this. Many thanks for your time, um, Mokta. Yes, Thank this you. latest Eurobond. First off, let me get your initial reaction. Yes, there's been a lot of borrowings uh, recently by the federal government. And this one, taking it to investors in the U.S. and London. What's your initial take on this before we go deeper? I think it's good for the for the government. Um, what we're seeing now, we are seeing borrowing with Pacifics, um, like the 5.5 .5 billion that was approved by the House, is uh, towards Pacific projects, and we know those projects: the Mambela Plateau Hydro project, the second um, other road, the rail road network, the Boni Road Bridge construction. So all these are tied to Pacific projects, which make it very very um, good. And I think. Again, when you borrow externally, the, 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 the interest rate is lower and it, it helps the government. And some of this um, borrowing that they are doing is actually to try to resurface the internal debt, which uh, is skyrocketing. And then the rate of getting this thing in Nigeria is high. So when you look at that, you, you give kudos to the government that they are borrowing with Pacific. There's no, um, the only challenge we have, we need to begin to look, which is already, that was the, what World Bank was telling us. We need to look at our debt to um, debt to um, our debt and and and, um, and get, um, profit ratio, which is um, I mean, if you look at that, when you look at that, you, you begin to have cause for concern because our debt seems to be higher than our exactly. our revenue. Yeah, I was, I was our debt to our revenue ratio, we can see that higher. our debt and our revenue ratio is getting it's about 63 percent now. So that means that we are really really we we have a lot of work to do. But when you look at this project, there are some of the key projects that can turn around the economy and we can be able to generate a lot of um, resources from there to service some of these debts. Yes, uh, in as much as we give kudos to the government for this attractive uh, form of borrowing, yes, this borrowing is uh, denominated, though, if I would say, is based in dollar and euro bonds and euro. Uh, but let's look at paying back debt servicing, servicing these borrowings that we are doing. Of course, we know that if there is any form of problem, for example, there is a crash in a Naira to the dollar, we seem to be in, a, in, in some sort of dilemma uh, paying back. Do you think it's still wise going no, that direction? If, if you look at it, um, we, we are really enjoying a little bit of re repair now because the oil price is going up. Our benchmark is about $45, and we have an oil price at about $63. And again, like, uh, like I said, if you look at the exchange rate, the exchange rate is right, um, uh, quite relatively stable now at 360 to 365 Then you, you mustn't forget that there's an import and export investment, investor import and export window, which is actually one window that has brought stability to the market and is still attracting a lot of investment. So the government is trying to diversify the economy also. And I, I think there's no cause for alarm going forward when you look at what the government is borrowing. They are borrowing for euro bond and the rate they are giving them and the coupon they are paying for those bonds. You, you, you just look at our revenue to, to debt ratio. That's why the foreign investors are interested because some emerging markets are not giving them the kind of rate we are giving them. We are giving them about 7.5% and 7%. And so when, when you look at that compared to the treasury bill that the government used to borrow here, you realize that the treasury bill is getting at about 16 to 17%. So you can see the logic why the government feel more safer to borrow outside because the rate is cheaper compared to borrowing. And then, and then you, you But would you actually say the rate is cheaper? Yes, when you look at it, um, commissary, the, the, the Naira to the dollar exchange rate is about 300, I mean, like I said, 360 and even the official rate at 305. So when you, when you look at that again, then you, you revive what we are borrowing and the rate that we are getting here and the duration period. Remember, these loans are given a long term duration period to pay, especially some of them are given up to 10 to 15 years to pay compared to the Nigeria own. But in unforeseen situations, if perhaps we have the issues with the crash or all that that we usually or most times have, don't you think we'll pay higher? We'll pay back higher. So well, which is more sensible? Well, when you look at it now, the CBN is trying to build a reserve. We've seen a reserve that was coming to about 23 billion. Now we are seeing a reserve that have grown by 11 billion to about 30 something billion. And the CBN say we can do it to 40 billion next year. So when you look at that together, you realize that there's a lot of hope. I don't think there's cause for panic, um, even at the rate we are going. And at, look, the thing about it is that when you look at our, our currency revenue to debt ratio, you realize it's not just starting from this government. And this government is trying to see how they can build infrastructure, which is the key drivers of our economy. So when you look at that, and remember, 
some of these projects are actually going to have like if you look at the 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 the, the rail network what is going to the bagua effect that is going to create in the economy when you look at some of the roads they want to come and you look at the mambela plateau that are trying for hydro hydro power, power. so and this one will generate power also and remember that consumer also will pay for all this power so you have a bank when you look at the road network they're trying to put two in those so they could generate the money so once this money are they, they are they are they are putting up plans on how they are going to repay these steps and they are not just depending on the oil price alone they are depending on other areas and they are looking at what, how they can pay this debt by what that debt can generate from what they are of doing. Of course, the ARG people uh, of the government, that's the Economic Recovery and Growth Plan yeah. of the government, seems to be. Let's give it 30% successful so far and um, confidence renewed in the economy. Now, with this roadshow uh, and with this Eurobond plan, do you think uh, it, foreign investors would? It, I, I don't think that we need a roadshow. Okay. That's why I think we are going to do the jamboree that we've always done. done. We don't need a roadshow. Uh, we've done about two, two of our bonds was oversubscribed, so we don't need a roadshow. We just need them to tell the investor, investors, our, 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 our rate is very attractive. So we don't need a roadshow. For me, it's just a maze of jamboree trying to tell the whole world that you are going to get you. Every time we want to issue euro bond, do we have to go for a rule show? We have issued about twice, um, twice this year, and it was oversubscribed. We even issued a specific one for Nigeria and the diaspora. It was oversubscribed. So I don't see a reason why we are going on a rule show again to tell them that we are here again. All we need to do, if our, 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 whoever is handling the, 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 is, is doing the right thing, we don't need, we just look back at what we have been able to generate and we have been able to pay, obviously, the coupon for this thing we have been able to pay. So I, I don't see any reason for a ratio. That's another uh, expensive that the government, a luxury, I think, a luxury expensive that the government cannot afford at afford. this moment. All right, just in two seconds, if I may say, in two seconds, let's look at uh, the borrowing mix of the government planning that the foreign loans account up to for up to about 40 percent as against the local uh, uh local borrowing are we comfortable with that yes because of the rate okay i just give you an example the treasury bill we have about 16 percent 16 to 17 percent okay. and they are borrowing for as low as three percent that's what the go government is borrowing about as low as three percent so it's still and manageable. In a longer period and it's all still right. manageable all right uh, market analyst mokta mohammed thank you for your time on business tonight thank you